6.15 on The World Today, a new series of controversial photographs from a Canadian artist, Jonathan Hoban, called In the Playroom, brings the headlines into the supposedly safe, carefree space of childhood playtime. In uh, one of the pictures, an olive-skinned boy glares ominously, pointing a toy plane toward twin building block towers. One with a gaping hole burning with construction paper fire as toy soldiers fall to the playroom floor. Uh, Mr. Hoban, who studied photography at Ryerson, said the photos are intended to tear down the illusion that in a media-saturated world, children can be sheltered. He joins me on the line this uh, evening. Jonathan, nice to talk to you. Hi, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Tell me more about... Uh, in the playroom, because it certainly has caught a lot of attention and, I uh, dare say, some controversy. Yeah, I think a little bit, but I think for the most part, when people start to really think about what the images are saying, I think that they understand and they get that uh, this is a pro-dialogue piece that's um, uh, meant to um, be respectful of children more than anything, rather than uh, the contrary of not exploiting children, as I've been accused of. So, um, I mean, images, I, I mean, you summed it up pretty well. I mean, it's about taking that construct that there is sort of this protective space and kind of dropping that il- illusion. So, you know, it really is impossible in today's day and age to escape the media. It's everywhere. It's on TV. It's on the radio. It's at the, on the, in the um, magazine, uh, the magazine covers that are at the grocery store when your kid's sitting in your, in your grocery basket. So it's just really hard to avoid. You want people to uh, understand that the kids see the scariest things out there. I mean, those planes crashing into those those buildings during 9-11, how many, uh, I don't know, tens of thousands of times have those images been uh, played on TV since then? Well, exactly. I mean, it's impossible not to see it. And I think that there's a lot of parents that don't want to acknowledge that their own children might have seen those or have questions about it. It just, it's become a part of our, uh, of our culture, of our, our pop culture, just to reference some of the news stories that I'm talking about in these images. You have been called everything from a pervert to someone with a prejudice against twins, <laughs> which, which is completely outlandish. I don't know where that comes from. Because of the, the your nine eleven portrayal, portrayal is called the twins. Yeah, which is really just it's, <laughs> a, it's a reference, obviously, to the twin towers, but yeah. it's also a reference to the fact that we, as a human race, have more in common than to each other than uncommon. So I'm making a point that these two boys, which are clearly of different ethnicities, are might as well be considered twins because, as a human race, we're all very similar. And so the, it's amazing that people would take that take on it, but I think it shows that sort of example, just how ludicrous some of the accusations have been, and it's really hard to take some of them seriously. What about the kids who are in the photographs? Who are they? Um, well, some of them are family friends, some of them are family members, and some of them are professional models that did not get paid, but their parents thought that the project was special enough that they thought that the kids would enjoy participating. And, so it really is the whole gamut. Uh, yeah, one of the one of the criticisms is, was that these these kids shouldn't have been in these photographs that that they were being exploited. That they shouldn't be having fun depicting scenes from nine eleven or, or Abu Ghraib, for that matter. Well, it's really interesting because you know these are the people who make comments on these blogs. I said it once before. It's like to make a comment on a blog is basically just shows the level of depth you're willing to go in to the story. I mean, it's so easy to just write something on a blog, and I feel like these people just thought they were making easy comments. In terms of people who have actually seen the work or actually given some thought to it, I've gotten like a hundred congratulatory remarks in comparison to one sort of off-the-cuff comment on on a blog. So it's just, it's hard for me to kind of really take any of that seriously. I mean, when you talk about exploiting a child or or what have you, I mean, these are images about stories that actually do affect children. So how is it offensive to reference that story and actually depict a real child? I don't think that when kids are in horror movies and things like that, that there's everyone's up in arms saying that how, how could that kid portray uh, someone in a horror movie, it must have terrified them. 
you know, it's ridiculous. These kids are playing characters, and their parents were present. And believe me when I say that they're they they were protected from the darker elements of of, of the series. Now, these photographs are being shown uh, in Ottawa. Is there any uh, plan to? Uh, take them across the country? or Well, that actually is the plan. I mean, I'm in the process now of looking at galleries, but, you know, I'm glad you brought it, brought it up because I really do feel that this is a series that could travel not just across Canada, but across the U.S. and abroad. It really is addressing some major media issues that have, you know, affected us globally. So I'd love to have this series travel. Right now it's in Ottawa, which I think is a great place to start being our nation's capital. It's the the photo festival. It's basically the headlining exhibition at the photo festival here in Ottawa. So I'd love to take it on the road. Jonathan, I appreciate your time. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you very much. Jonathan uh, Hoban on the line from Ottawa here on The World Today at 621. The World Today on CKNW. News Talk 980.